so we are group 7 we are assigned to write each standard equation of an ellipse in a general form so ito yung general form natin ito yung pagbabasehan natin so yung general form natin is ax squared plus dy squared plus cx plus dy plus e is equal to 0 so ito yung first example natin x plus 1 quantity 2 over 9 plus y minus 1 quantity 2 over 3 is equal to 1. So, yung next step naman is saanapin natin yung L LCD or least common denominator. So yung, so, yung LCD natin is 9. So, yung next step is multiply natin yung both equation gamit ang LCD natin. So, magiging ganito. 9 times x plus 1 quantity 2 over 9 plus y minus 1 quantity 2 over 3 is equal to 1. Pwede tayo mag-cancel pag divisible by 9. So, yung 9 saka 3 is divisible by 9. So, pwede natin sila in-cancel out. Tapos, yung 1 naman is i-multiply lang ng 1. So, magiging ganito. 9 divided by 9 is 1. So, ikakapi lang natin yung x plus 1 quantity 2 plus 3 divided by 9 is 3. So, kakapi rin natin yung y minus 1 quantity 2 equals 9. So, yung 9, tatayin sila natin sa 1. While pa tayo mag-proceed sa next step dahil naka-square root of binom binomial sila. So, gagawin natin is hanapin natin yung binomial nila. So, magiging ganito. x plus 1 and x plus 1. So, yung next step naman is ipag-multiply natin silang dalawa. So, parang magiging ganito. x plus x plus x plus 1. So, ganun yung gagawin natin sa y. So, magiging ganito y minus 2 and y minus 2 so i-multiply rin natin siya ng dalawa so magiging ganito y squared minus 2y minus 2y plus 4 so yung next step natin is pagkasamaan natin yung mga magkaparehas na variables so magiging ganito x squared plus 2x plus 1 kasi sinagsama natin yung dalawa x sa kabila so magiging 2x tapos yung y naman is magiging y squared minus 4y plus 4 kasi nga, pinagsama natin yung dalawang negative 2y so magiging 4y so yung next step naman natin is pagkasamayin natin yung kinancel out natin tapos yung kinawa natin kanina so magiging ganito 1 times x squared plus 2x plus 1 quantity plus 3 times y squared minus 4y plus 4 quantity is equal to 9. So, yung next step natin is i-multiply natin sila. So, parang magiging ganito. 1 times x squared is x squared. 1 times 2x is 2x. 1 times 1 is 1. So, yung 3 times y squared is 3y squared. 3 times negative 4y is negative 12y. 3 times 4 is 12. So, ganyan. So, yung last step natin is, i-arrange naman natin sila. So, parang magiging ganito. x squared plus 3y squared plus 2x minus 12y minus 9 is equal to 0. So, yung second example naman natin is, x minus 1 plus 2 over 20 plus y, y squared over 10 equals 1. So, gano'n rin yung gagawin natin. First, hanapin natin yung LCD ng given natin. So, yung LCD natin is 20. So, yung next step naman is, ita times natin ng both sides yung both e equation natin. So, magiging ganito. 20 times x minus 1 quantity 2 over 20 plus y squared over 10 is equal to 1. So, yung gagawin rin ulit natin is, yung parehas na divisible is i-cancel out natin tapos yung hindi naman is i-multiply lang natin so magiging ganito 20 divided by 20 is 1 tapos copy lang yung x minus 1 20 2 plus 20 divided by 10 is 2 so copy lang yung y squared magiging 2 y squared equals 20 so yung 1 times 20 is 20 so, bawat pa natin i-multiply yan kasi naka-square root pa sila. So, hanapin natin yung binomial nila. So, magiging ganito. X 
minus 1 and x minus 1. So, yung next naman is, mumultiply natin si tang dalawa. So, magiging ganito. x squared minus x minus x minus 2. So, ganun rin yung y. So, hindi natin pinakita kasi given na yun. Na, magiging 2y squared. Next naman is, pagsasamahan natin yung mga magkakapares na variable. So, magiging ganito. x squared minus 2x minus 2. So, yung y natin is magiging 2y squared na. So, kasi 2 times y squared is 2y squared. So, next step is pagsasama-samahin natin yung x and y. So, magiging x squared minus 2x minus 2 plus 2y squared equals to 20. So, yung gawin natin is ilipat-lipat natin yung 20 sa left side. So, yung mga magkakapare yung variables o number is pag-minus natin o or ipagpo-plus. So, magiging ganito. x squared plus 2y squared minus 2x minus 2 minus 20 equal to 0. So, yung 2 tsaka 20 is pag na natin, magiging x squared plus 2y squared minus 2x minus 22 is equal to 0. So, yan na yung sagot natin sa example 2. So, yung third example naman natin is x squared over 4 plus y plus 4 quantity 2 over 5 is equal to 1. So, yung hanapin naman natin yung LCD. So, yung LCD natin is 20. So, yung next step is i-multiply natin yung both equation ng LCD natin. Yung 20 yun. So, magiging ganito siya. 20 x times x squared over 4 plus y plus 4 quantity 2 over 5 is equal to 1. So, yung gagawin naman natin is, kakancel out natin yung divisible by 20. So, yung divisible by 20 natin is 4 saka 5. So, maging ganito. Tapos, pag hindi naman divisible is, ta times lang natin. 20 divided by 4 is 5, 5. So, kakapin natin yung x squared. So, magiging 5x squared. Tapos, 20 divided by 5 is 4. So, kakapila natin yung y plus 4 kakapit is 2. So, 1 times 20 is 20. So, magiging 5x squared plus 4 times y plus 4 kakapit 2 is equal to 20. So, yung next step naman is hanapin natin yung binomial nila. So, yung 5x is binomial na yun. So, hindi na natin kailangan hanapin yun. Magiging y plus 4 and y plus 4. So, yung next step naman natin is pagmumultiply natin sila. So, magiging ganito. y squared plus 4y plus 4y plus 8. So, yung next step is pagkasamayin natin yung makakaparehas na variable. So, magiging ganito siya. y squared plus 8y plus 8. Kasi nga, pinagsama natin yung plus 4y. So, magiging 8. So, yung next natin is pagkasamayin natin yung ginawa nating binomial at yung kinancel out natin na number. So, magiging ganito siya. 5x squared plus 4 times y squared plus 8y plus 8 quantity over 20. So, next step is, mamultiply natin yung, yung y. Kasi nga, yung x nandyan na. So, magiging ganito siya. 5x squared plus 4 times y squared is 4y squared. 4 times 8 is 32y. Plus 4 times 8 is 32. Minus 20 is equal to 0. So, in arrange natin yung 20. So, magiging negative 20. I-arrange naman natin sila sa general form nila. So, magiging ganito siya. Magiging sagot natin is 5x squared plus 4y squared plus 32y plus 12. So, yung 32 minus 20 is 12. So, yun na yung sagot natin sa example 3. So, ito yung last example natin. So, x plus 2 quantity 2 over 2 plus y minus 2 quantity 2 over 4 is equal to 1. So, ganun pa rin. Hanapin pa rin natin yung LCD. So, yung LCD natin is 8. So, yung gagawin naman natin is ipag-multiply natin sila both equations. So, magiging ganito. 8 times x plus 2 quantity 2 over 2 plus y minus 2 quantity 2 over 4 is equal to 1. So, yung next naman na gagawin natin is i-multiply natin or i-cancellation natin. So, pag divisible ng 8 is cancellation natin. Pag hindi naman is i-multiply na lang. So, magiging ganito. 
8 divided by 2 is 4. Tapos kakapilan natin yung x plus 2 quantity 2 plus 8 divided by 4 is 2. So kakapilan natin yung y minus 2 quantity 2. Tapos 8 times 1 is 8. So magiging 8. So next step is bawal pa natin silang i times kasi naka square root of binomial pa sila. So yung next na gagawin naman natin is iba binomial natin sila. So magiging ganito x plus 2 quantity and x plus 2 quantity so yung next naman natin is pag multiply natin silang dalawa so ganun na rin gagawin natin sa y so magiging ganito x squared plus 2x plus 2x plus 4 so yung next step is pagkasamay natin yung magkakaparehas na variable para rin sa y para katulad din sa y magiging x squared plus 4x plus 4 kasi nga pinagsama natin yung 2x plus 2x so yung y naman is yung binomial ng y is y minus 2 quantity and 1 minus 2 quantity so yung ta times natin is y squared minus 2y minus 2y minus 4 so yung yung pinagsama naman natin is magiging y squared minus 4y minus 4 so yung Next step naman is pagkasamayin natin yung kinancel out natin tapos yung binomial natin ng x and y. So, magiging ganito siya. Plus 4 times x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus 2 times y squared minus 4y minus 4 is equal to 8. So, gagawin naman is i-multiply na natin sila. So, magiging ganito siya. 4 times x squared is 4x squared tapos 4 times 4x is 16x tapos 4 times 4 is 16 tapos naman 2y squared times 2 is 2y squared 2 times 4y is 8y so mali yung paglalagay so 8y dapat yan tapos 2 times 4 negative 4 is negative 8 mali yung paglalagay sorry so i na natin sila sa general form so magiging ganito is equal to 16. So, magiging sagot is 4x squared 2y squared plus 16x minus 8y plus negative 16. So, yan na yung sagot. So, I hope na naitindahan kayo sa ngayong lesson na transforming standard equation to general form. So, thank you for watching.